How are you, Jacob here? Today we're looking at the company Avantor, company 70 of our generic stock screener in the life sciences, tools, and services industry. Just above 16 billion market cap, over 21 billion enterprise value. So we are looking at a bit of debt here. Growth has been very, very impressive. Last five years has averaged out a bit more conservative in the mid single digit year over year growth, but there was two humongous years over here in 2017 and 2018 for revenue growth. I am interested to see if that was due to an acquisition, but gross margin, 30%, operating margin, low, a 10, 10 to 13%, not terrible. Let's look at that cash flow statement though. Was there, okay, 2017, huge acquisition. 2021, also a very large acquisition. Yeah, it looks like they issued shares to fund that endeavor and issued debt. Um, same with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Same with this acquisition over here. Issued a little bit of shares as well as debt. Most recent use of cash is uh, paying down a lot of the debt that they funded the acquisition for. It's kind of funny. Um, Outside of that, buying back the tiniest bit of shares. I mean, really just all of their money going towards that debt reduction. Let's see how, what that debt situation looks like. So 263 million cash on hand, 260 million short-term debt, pretty much offset by their cash on hand, 5.2 billion in long-term debt. That 5.2 billion is related to maybe 700 million of their five-year average free cash flow. So you're looking at maybe six to or seven to eight times their five-year average free cash flow so it is a good amount of debt but they're using a lot of that debt uh, or they're paying down a lot of that debt so if it's due over the next eight years uh they should be fine and um you know even if it's due in the next three to four they have historically been very good or they've been very specific at paying down debt uh the only thing is when it comes to debt reduction is that it limits the cash flow to go to other places that increase the value of the business, like reinvesting back into yourself, uh, advantageous acquisitions, buying back shares, and then giving the money to the shareholders as a dividend. And so from what I'm seeing here, it looks like they're just going to be using all their free cash flow to reduce debt, maybe not over the next seven years, but definitely a few of those years. And so I'm going to have to limit my expectations for revenue growth and margin expansion due to the fact that they're limited with reinvestment opportunities. And so keeping that in mind, I think I'm ready to make some assumptions here. On the revenue growth side, I think that I probably wouldn't be surprised if just 5%. And then... Uh, I'll do a little bit lower price to earnings, price free cash flow due to the fact, again, that they're reinvesting everything or they're just repurchasing a lot of that debt situation. And so maybe prospective growth at the end of seven years will be greater. But for now, I'm being a little bit conservative with their debt being so much greater than the, or their enterprise value being so much greater than their market cap. The margins feel pretty solid with a, a larger range here, maybe seven and ten. And then share change, let's look at, um, I mean, let's just offset stock-based compensation say it's zero. And I mean, it's tough when a company goes into a bit of debt for acquisition purposes. It does increase the top line. It looks like the bottom line has also increased, but now they're focused for the next couple of years. And again, this is seven-year analysis. Majority of those seven years, they're going to be using a lot of effort cash flow to just pay down the debt that they incurred to make these acquisitions. And so it doesn't necessarily seem very advantageous to me. Uh, I think there's better ways of going around it. But if those were very advantageous acquisitions, maybe it makes sense in the long run. But for me right now, with the numbers I'm seeing, I feel comfortable with these assumptions and it does look a bit expensive. Saying I need to fall 78% to get the return I'm looking for. I do hope you enjoy the video and the rest of your day. Thank you.